the new Springfield Armory Hellcat RDP. Let's check it out. When it comes to micro subcompacts, Springfield Armory has the highest capacity out there. Uh, 11 plus 1 and then with a magazine of 13 plus 1. These followed on the heels of the SIG P365, but yet they've topped it and they haven't been beat. And Springfield Armory took it up a notch and introduced their Hellcat RDP, which stands for Rapid Defense Package. This firearm has a lot of features to it. Of course, it has optics already included and a compensator with a threaded barrel. Still has the same 11 plus 1 and 13 plus 1 mag capacity, and they have upgraded the trigger. And honestly, the RPD is about ready for anything. And guys, we really appreciate Springfield Armory for sending the Hellcat RDP. It's great to be able to show you guys new guns, but also great to get it out to the range. And guys, don't be surprised if I don't come up and say RPD, RDP, R2D2. The Springfield Armory Hellcat RDP for Rapid Defense Package. Uh, this is the new offering from Springfield, and this is just an upgraded version of the regular Hellcat. Uh, the frame and everything are the same. Most of the changes are done to the top, and there have been advancements with the trigger. The first thing let's do is go ahead and drop our magazine have a 11 round magazine and then you also have an additional 13 round magazine with a little bit of an extension on the base plate and of course check and the gun is unloaded springfield armory really designed this to be a fighting handgun uh, one thing about the hellcat is that it came in right on the tail of the p365 by sig which held 10 rounds in a very small package now we have 11 rounds in a small package about the same size and, uh, and then, of course, we have the 13-round magazines, which SIG offers extended magazines as well. But you do get that extra round, and again, guys, it just gives us more options, which I love. Now, one of the big things when I posted this on Instagram, and of course, this compensator. We're going to talk about the elephant in the room. You know, you have this small pistol, now you have a compensator, and there were some questions and some comments about that. First off, guys, is these little small pistols can be very snappy and a lot of muzzle flip one of the things that would tame that would be a compensator and this is an indexing compensator it is really exceptional there's no shims there's a little lever i'm going to show you how to take this on and off uh, but if you don't like the compensator you can go with the thread protector or if you want to have something that is suppressor ready then this makes a great option as well half by 28 threads another big plus for this firearm is this red dot now the original Hellcat was optics ready, it did have the mounting plates. But this is the Hex Wasp. Now I'm going to tell you guys, I deal with a lot of different red dots and I really like the metal construction. Uh, but one thing I like is a more thicker metal construction that's going to protect the lens. And this to me is just a beautiful sight. Now one great thing about this is that it has a auto dimming sensor. So if you're out in bright sunlight, it's going to brighten up. And then if you get into low light conditions, and you can see the dot now. And you can also see that this co-witnesses with the sights. And I'll tell you guys, I really like that U-notch sight with that white and then that front tritium bead. Uh, so this gives you double options. It just allows you to find that dot really quickly. 
and tests have proven that these red dots actually allow you to get on target faster and more accurately. You know, there are some really cool features about this firearm to me. Yes, it's a little bit larger just because of the comp, but again, thread protector, or you can go with the standard Hellcat. Now they do offer an optional frame safety. This came with the frame safety, but uh, that is an option. So if you're not big on that, but a lot of guys, especially with these striker fire pistols and with just this trigger shoe, they feel much more comfortable with a safety. Uh, also with the trigger, uh, this is the Gen 2 trigger. There has been some upgrades made over the original. Now, one of the things about my original Hellcat is we've shot about 2,000 rounds through it. So really the trigger has really tamed down. I mean, it is really crisp and nice. This though has more of a flat style to it and of course with the trigger, but we're gonna look at that in a minute. Now you have, of course, your rear and front cocking serrations uh, and we just have a nice matte finish on the slide. The laser engraving on the grip is excellent. Now, while it's nice and aggressive on the grip, you know, it's not going to snag on your clothes. It's not uncomfortable. And so I really like the grip. I like also these indexing pads where I can put my finger. Uh, and I like to do that as soon as I'm finished shooting. Just get right to that little index point. You have a standard Picatinny rail with one slot. Curved trigger guard, which keeps this really minimal. Ample mag release. I mean, it gives you just that right spot. I don't even have to adjust my grip to get to it. Uh, and of course, the stainless steel magazines are really well done. Now this one again holds 11, and then we have the 13 rounder. But all things considered, guys, uh, this pinky rest really brings it almost to the same point as having those two extra rounds. Uh, the one thing is with this little slight angle here, it's gonna help with concealed carry a little better but really it's not a big difference. And it also comes with a flush base plate if you wanna really go more deep carry. Now the Hex Optics has a strong relationship with Springfield Armory. Uh, they may even be owned by Springfield. Uh, but again, they do have the Dragonfly, which is a little bit larger. And if you're not really into optics, of course, it does have your plate that you can just, your cover plate. And so that way, if you want to shoot this and try it out, but you're not ready to go to optics, you can just throw on your adapter plate or your cover plate, and you can go with just your standard configuration. But one of the things about this site, it has a 65,000 hour battery life. That's for two years. And you do use the standard CR2032 batteries. Now, I really like these angles. Uh, it really does protect the lens. Uh, one of the things about some that are just rounded off is that if you drop it head on, it does crack the lens. So this is gonna give you a little more protection, plus it's thicker. And it is serrated toward the back to keep glare down. It has a scratch resistant glass lens, which I like glass, they don't scratch as easy. Uh, and it does have anti-glare. It's a 3.5 MOA, so it's just that perfect size. And guys at the range, we were shooting in bright sunlight and it was showing up very well. It's IPX7, which means it's waterproof, it's a 0.5 MOA adjustment and it's parallax free. The site's 0.95 inches in width and 0.86 inches in height. But guys, the big thing is, I mean, it co-witnesses exactly with your sights. And if you really like this site, you can order it for your standard Hellcat. Uh, it'll just fit right onto it. Uh, and again, it does have that shield RMSC footprint. But they run $299 on the hexoptics.com website. Now the barrel is a cold hammer forge barrel. It's 3.8 inches in length and it is threaded. Uh, of course, you've got your thread protector, you've got your compensator, and again, you can you know add a suppressor if you want. One thing that I really like about the Springfield barrel is that it has a loaded chamber indicator right here at the top. I can see the brass. A lot of times they have you know indications here on the extractor, and honestly, I don't usually pay attention to that. Typically, if I have something and I can't tell, I just kind of press check. But honestly, with this one, and we were using this at the range quite a bit, I would just look down this hole and I would see the brass and I knew it was loaded. Now, the comp is a self-indexing comp. That means there's no shims. Uh, you don't have to have any tools to take this on and off. There's actually a small lever down here, a locking lever. And so we're going to take this off and I'm going to show you how it works. But it does have ports on either side and ports at the top. And guys, the one thing about this is at the range is that it, when it shoots, it shoots very flat compared to the standard Hellcat. Uh, but, you know, these small pistols do have some muzzle flip because they're small. And it's just physics. 
but this this relieves the gases out of the side and out of the top and it just keeps your muzzle down in a down position so honestly instead of it doing this it tends to do this a little bit better and it allows you to stay on your sights more so those second third follow-up shots are just easier this is a great self-defense firearm in the way it came and again you are optics ready I mean this the grips are the same I mean the ergonomics are the same but one of the things that they've done with the RDP is they've increased it with an optic and then again with this comp so this thing is fully ready to go I mean if I was really facing a self-defense situation I would rather have the RDP I mean it gives you a lot of advantages now personally do I carry one with a comp not typically but it's small enough to where adding the comp doesn't add a lot of extra weight to it or length and one of the big things is it's so thin and that's the real bonus for these small firearms one of the things that I've learned with concealed carry is I really like thin I mean it really fits close to the body uh, it doesn't print near as easy as a larger firearm and I've carried the Glock 19 for a number of years and the Glock 26 and they're thick so I liked it when the G43X came out it gave me more magazine capacity but even then it's a much larger pistol than the Hellcat and honestly this is much smaller than the G48 and you have a compensator but then again guys you know if comp's not your deal if you don't care about a threaded barrel this is still a great option now with the trigger you have your little trigger safety right here you have to have a full uh, position on your trigger for it to fire you have some take up a little bit of resistance a nice break reset right there and so definitely there is some improvement uh, one of the things about the original Hellcat the trigger was a little gritty but this seems to be very much smoothed out of course no review would be complete without our Lyman trigger gauge from Proud Ales 5 pounds 10.5 ounces 5 pounds 9.7 ounces so pretty consistent we really appreciate Fioki for sponsoring the ammo all made in the USA good stuff and also Lula loaders to make things a little nicer this is gonna be a fun range day every day is fun at the range now just like the original Hellcat uh, this gun is highly reliable we had no malfunctions uh, sometimes if you're messing around you know with compensators and weights at the end of the barrel you can have some issues but this one just functioned extremely well no malfunctions uh, you know it just shoots flat it's a pleasure to shoot even in this smaller package I wanted to test out this hex wasp I mean this thing has a lot of quality you know we've talked about a lot of the features but the red dot just shows up I mean whether it's in dim conditions or in bright sunlight and we were shooting it in bright sunlight uh, you're able to co-witness with your sights and one of the things that really surprised me was when I got this the sight lined up exactly with the red dot and it's a 3.5 MOA so it's really easy to get that dot but also the compensator you know it just really makes the gun shoot much flatter uh, you know there's not as much muzzle flip sometimes with these small micro nines I mean you're gonna get muzzle flip it's just physics but the compensator definitely brings it down it just shoots flat and that makes it really great to be able to pick up those second and third follow-up shots or if you need to do 11 follow-up shots or 13 <laughs> about the difference um, <clears throat> this one was easier to keep a hold of personally I think not so much like <laughs> muzzle flip yeah yeah muzzle I was <laughs> noticing it you had more muzzle flip on the original yeah I think that comp makes a big difference it does it almost felt like a little heavier in the front so it kind of pulled it down uh, also um, you know the comp definitely helps keep the gas but it shoots flatter 
I mean, and two, it seems like it comes straight back, which would be make sense then for it to come like back like this. Yeah, like up. Yeah. Now for disassembly. Let's drop our magazine. We're going to check to make sure the gun is unloaded, and it is. Bring back your slide, put it in the slide stop position, take your takedown lever right here, and push it into the up position. Uh, next, we're going to drop our slide, and then we're going to go ahead and pull the trigger to deactivate the striker, and then you can pull the slide right off. Have dual captive guide rod, and then, of course, you have your barrel, which, because of the compensator, you're not going to be able to pull this out, but I'm also going to show you how to take the compensator on and off. And you need to make sure that you remove your slide assembly from the lower when you do this. Now, if you'll notice right here, there is a lock. And so we're going to deactivate the lock just like this. And then we start to turn the compensator. And then after, then after a while, you can just release the lock. And we're not there yet. <laughs> there we go. And so it just comes right off. Again, half by 28 threads. Now again, you can put, you know, your standard thread protector if you just wanted to put that on there. Uh, you'll still have to remove this to get the barrel out of the slide. Then we're going to pull our barrel right off. It just has the same Hellcat lower. Again, the trigger has been enhanced, but pretty much it's the same. And guys, that's all you need to do to field strip. Uh, go ahead and put in your barrel. We're going to go ahead and put on the compensator. There is a method to putting this on. Go ahead and depress your lever and get it started. And you again, you want to turn the entire slide assembly. It makes it a little easier. Then you can release the lever. Go ahead and just tighten it down until it just stops. It meets the resistance. Now we're going to go ahead and turn it back about a half rotation. And then engage this little lever and then start to turn. It's a little tricky with the slide, but you can do it. Once you get it fully stopped, release the lever and then just turn it and you're going to hear an audible click. Just like that. And so now it's locked in, it's engaged. Then go ahead and add your recoil spring and guide rod. Put it back on the frame. Gauge your slide stop, bring your lever down. We're going to bring in our magazine, go ahead and test for function. We're good to go. Now when they say rapid defense package, uh, they are, there are a lot of options. Of course, the 13 round magazine, you get a flat base plate, you get your cover plate, thread protector. Also, you have a small tool to be able to adjust your sight. You have two hex keys as well. It also comes with a small little pouch. I like this pouch, very fine quality, and just open it up. You do have a small sleeve in here to keep your extra magazine, but a uh, nice little package. Now the MSRP from Springfield is $8.99, which includes the micro red dot. And the micro red dot retails for $2.99. So you're actually getting a really good price for this compared to the $5.99 on the standard Hellcat. The Hellcat's already optics ready, but there's no optic. And then secondly, you are getting a threaded barrel with a compensator. And then if you want to put on suppressors or you know whatever you want to do, or you just want to put the thread protector on, you can do that. And so to me, this gives you a lot of options. But guys, if you don't like the compensator, I mean, just go with the standard Hellcat. It's optics ready. And uh, this makes a great concealed carry option. But this is, again, taking it up a notch. And we really appreciate Springfield Armory for sending this out early. I mean, this is a brand new gun. So it's really nice to have this gun to let you guys see what's out there. And plus, to let me see what's out there. Guys, if you depend on a firearm for self-defense, whether concealed carry or even home defense, having some kind of legal protection is vital. I'm a member of the USCCA. I've been a member for the past three years, and it is just peace of mind. You know that someone has your back if you ever get yourself in a tough situation where you have to draw your firearm. If you are carrying concealed, uh, you should definitely have some kind of legal protection. Now, I have a link down below in the description to the USCCA membership page. It is an affiliate link. And I know that if anything ever goes down, I have a friend with USCCA. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
when it comes to micro when it comes to micros can insert a magazine test for the function test for function The Springfield Armory Hellcat RPD, let's check it out. RPD, the Hellcat RPD, for sending the Hellcat RPD. Uh, your wasp, your hex wasp will fit. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>